Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha if it is your first time here and in today's video I'm doing an Instagram shops my stash. So I already wanted to do a shop my stash video But I just like couldn't decide what products to pick so I threw a bunch of polls up on Instagram I'll leave my Instagram handle up here so you can follow me if you'd like and I had you guys vote on what products I'm gonna use So that's what we're doing and if you're interested in this video, just keep watching. Okay, so my brows are on obviously so i had you guys vote for an eyeshadow palette it was between the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and the color pop i believe it's the mariposa single shadow palette and by 53 percent anastasia won with this modern renaissance palette this was like one of the first anastasia palettes i feel like that really blew up you can tell that mine is well loved I literally dropped this and broke it in the parking lot of the store the day I bought it and was just like, whatever, that's what I deserve. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go in with this and based on the other things you guys picked, like the blush color and the lipstick color, I'm not going to lie, today's eyeshadow looks going to be pretty boring and I know I've been doing boring eyeshadow looks. Trust me, a lot more fun stuff is coming this month. Uh, but I'm just gonna do like a basic quick bronzy eye with this because you guys picked me wearing a red lipstick I don't really want to do like a pink eye or like a You know like a maroon cranberry eye So I think I'm just gonna go in and do like a quick easy bronzy eye and just throw that right on So let me zoom you guys into my eyes more and then we'll kind of bust through this eye look Okay, we're zoomed. I'm not gonna prime my eyes today because I'm just not feeling it like that's just how it goes before I get started please tell me you guys have seen on the internet today the Anastasia Amorisi palette that just got uh, teased I am so excited I'm literally going to buy it the second it's available and I will be doing a video on that so look out for that but as of now let's just jump in and do this quick little bronzy eye Okay, so like I said, literally the most basic bronzy smoky eye ever. I forgot how nicely these Anastasia palettes blended out. I have the Jackie Ina palette and I really like that one and I think it blends out beautifully. But that one is like brand new. It just came out. So it's impressive that this palette, which I'm pretty sure came out three, four years ago at this point, is still such nice quality. I'm really happy with it. So let's zoom out and move on to the face. So it was between two different primers. We have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and the Too Faced Hangover RX. And the Too Faced Primer won by 77%, which I was kind of surprised about, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and use this. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This um, recently, Too Faced Jest, I re saw that they released on Ulta. They have like a whole Hangover RX line now. They have the face serum, they have 
a mask, a lotion, a moisturizer, a sunscreen, like they got a lot with this line, so that's cool. That'll be fun to check out. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this on the face. This is like a really nice, basic kind of... Did you hear that? I'm like a fucking werewolf or something. That was weird as hell. Um, this is just like a really nice, basic, moisturizing primer. I mean, it smells so good it smells like like toasted coconut summertime but just adds like a nice tacky base a nice like moisture shot to your face which i feel like everyone can use when they're doing their makeup i don't think that this primer really like makes your makeup last longer or like fills in your pores or luminizes anything like that i think this really is a replenishing moisturizing face primer so if you're a little bit more dry or if you're just like I need just a shot more moisture. I would go in with this guy and it smells so good. So next is foundation and I had you guys vote between the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. And the Fenty Beauty Foundation won by 62%. No surprise there. I had a feeling that this one was going to win. Okay, I'm gonna clip my hair back real quick as we go in with some foundation. Oh my god that looks terrible okay so the fenty beauty pro filter hydrating foundation i really like this foundation the first time i tried it i was a little iffy on it like i think that i was expecting more like i was just had these over the top expectations for it but i do really like it it is a nice hydrating it has a natural finish to it i would not say that it has like a dewy finish to it at all it's definitely more of just like a natural not matte but almost a natural soft matte finish you don't need too much I definitely pumped out way too much all right and to start pouncing that out with my ego tools perfecting blending sponge I love this sponge so this foundation does look a little bit too light when it first comes out of the bottle but it blends into my face really nicely I mean it might be just a tinge too light but it's okay I'm pretty fair so it blends in pretty nice and that's the nice thing about Fenty as well is that there is I'm pretty sure 40 if not more shades for each one of her complexion products like foundation and concealer and that is amazing so I should definitely be able to find my shade but I think that this blends in pretty nice what do you think let me know in the comments down below. So for this eye portion, I had it uh, mainly fast forwarded. I can't decide whether or not I prefer having just like, like when I'm watching a video for instance, like I can't decide if like I prefer when they do their eyeshadow. Like if it's a basic look, I kind of prefer if I just watch it fast forwarded. But if it's like cool colors or something that requires like a little bit more skill, I like it to be slowed down. Let me know what you guys think um, in the comments down below of how you feel for like mainly eyeshadow is what I'm talking about here. If you prefer the eyeshadow just kind of be sped up, you just kind of want to know what colors I chose, or if you want a more like in depth, this is why I'm doing this, this is how I do this, this is what brush I use for eyeshadow. Let me know. But this foundation is really nice. It has a nice medium coverage, I would say. It has kind of like a strange smell to it. It smells like powder. And I know that's like, doesn't make sense, but like think of like a powder compact, like almost like a grandma-y powder compact, like old makeup. And that's kind of what it smells like to me. You know what? The closer up I'm looking at this, the more I think it is a little bit too light for me. It's making me look a little ghosty which is fine I will just bronze up a whole lot but in the summer I'll have to get a darker shade because the shade will not work for me does it look like I just got whiter like I just got more pale from the foundation what do you think okay that looks pretty good for foundation let's move on to concealer so for concealer it was between the Jouer uh, essentials concealer and the Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting concealer and the Too Faced multi sculpting concealer won by 57% and now I'm a little afraid this concealer might be too dark it might be a little too yellow for what I'm 
looking for today. I do really like this concealer. It is definitely more uh, full coverage. I wouldn't say that I reach for it like on a daily, but when I'm trying to do a more full coverage look, this is really nice. All right, now I gotta hit the under eyes real quick. I need like a very little amount of this concealer on my under eyes because it is so full coverage and I almost feel like, I don't want to use the word heavy, but it is almost a little heavy for my under eyes. So I like to go in and take just a tiny bit of it and kind of move it around where I want it. I'd rather just tweet it and delete it. And then I'll take my sponge over it. And this is a good tip too if you ever feel like you always end up with like too much product or you're getting really creasy or it's getting weird is I always take the doe foot and I like okay so I pull it out and then I make sure to like wipe as much product off of it as possible then I'll go in really light-handed under my eye do just a little bit that looks like a lot because it's super pigmented but it's not then I go in with like a little brush and I kind of, or you could just use your finger and you kind of move it around and place it where you want to be first. And this will help increase the coverage you're getting too with smaller amounts of concealer because a sponge kind of pulls in a little bit. That's just how it goes. It sucks in a little bit as it's placing a little bit. So with the sponge, you're going to kind of lose a little bit of product. If you go in with your brush first and place it exactly where you want it to be, and then go in with your sponge afterwards, you're gonna get a more seamless and more flawless finish, and you're gonna be able to get more coverage with less product, and you'll have to deal with less creasing and less, you know, just that like heavy makeup feeling under your eyes. And we reach a point we okay, concealer is on, foundation is on. I look so flat right now, like my face looks, I look a little crazy. So let's go in with some bronzer. For bronzer, I had you guys vote between the Wet n Wild Bronze and Contouring Palette Duo and the ColourPop Coconut Beach Gone Coconuts Collection Bronzer and the ColourPop Bronzer 1. So that's what we're going to go in with today. This is from the Coconut Collection and this is in the shade Coconut Beach. I actually haven't used this yet, so I'm excited. It's a nice medium toned, a little bit cooler, I would say bronzer. So I'm going to go and bronze up with that guy. It is a matte bronzer. I go back and forth with uh, how I feel about the ColourPop pressed products, their bronzers and their blushes. I do really like their blushes, but sometimes with the bronzers, like, I don't know if I think the coloring is a little bit weird or what. Okay, we are all bronzed up. Next is for blush, and I had you guys vote between two blushes that were the same formula, but they were just in different colors, and they are the NYX Sweet Cheeks blushes. I had you guys vote between a matte yellow blush, which is what I really wanted to win, and a wine colored blush, and the wine colored blush won by 61%. This is in the shade Citrine Rose, which is like a really wine, rosy kind of glowy blush. I'm gonna add this on. I always forget how pigmented these are. Really pigmented, I always forget. Let's do a little bit on the cheeks here. I don't wanna go too hard because I am, oh, I've already kinda gone too hard because I am wearing a red lip today. Ah! Okay, so I kinda went a little overboard with the blush right now. I kinda feel like the beauty lights are drowning it out. But if you ever go overboard with your blush, like I just did, so there's a few things that I like to do. One, I like to go in with a clean brush and kind of just start blending it out a little bit. That helps because the brush picks up a little bit of it and you're not, while you're blending, you're not adding more. You, there's nothing on the brush. So you're just blending and working with what you got and kind of cleaning up what you got going. And after doing that, if you're still like, oh, 
just a little bit too much. I'm not loving it. Go in with your sponge or your brush that you did your foundation with and kind of just lightly pat over it. You could take like a little bit of powder on a brush and that helps like diffuse it more as well. So this is our base so far. It's cute. I'm liking how it's going. The next thing I had you guys vote on was highlight and it was between the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter and a Milani Highlighter and you guys chose the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. So I have mine here in the shade Lit really pretty beautiful champagne -y highlighter but I feel like it kind of has a little bit of like blue sparkle going on in it if you guys have this highlighter let me know if you feel like you can see a little bit of like blue sparkle here I'm just gonna go in with my normal highlighting brush and get all my normal highlighting points my nose this highlighter has like almost smells like lavender a little bit it smells like shampoo it has like a really nice scent to it but I always forget about the smell. And then when I open it, I'm like, what is that? It's like herbal. You know what it kind of smells like? It kind of reminds me of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Like that smell is very similar. So very like herbal kind of spa-like. Cute. Okay. I am going to set my face, throw on some mascara, and I will be right back to finish off the look and do my lip. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and put on some mascara, set my face, set my brows. Let's move on to the lips. I had you guys vote between a nude lipstick and a red lipstick, and you guys voted red lipstick by 53%, which it was pretty close. Like, I was like, what's it going to be? And the red lipstick I put up was the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 Red Hot Susan. This is like a nice burnt orangey brick red and I need to line my lips and I'm trying to decide what color I want to go in with I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna line with the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on pencil in the shade bad blood and I'm just gonna do like a rough lip line here and then I'll go in with the lipstick this might be a little too blue toned but it's the dark it's like the same kind of dark tone that I'm looking for. Would help if I wasn't blocking my face, huh? Okay, my lips are lined. I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely more fiery red than the lip liner I used, but I still just needed a little bit of a guide. These lipsticks smell so good. It's like a sweet vanilla mint almost. I love these lipsticks so much. These Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips lipsticks, you know the shade Angel Alessandra is like my holy grail nude lipstick, but just in general, the formula of these lipsticks are so good. Cute. Oh, I love this lipstick. This is just like a really nice, dark, rich, fiery brick red. It's the same kind of orangey tone that I usually like my red lipsticks in, but it's a little bit darker, a little bit more burnt, a little bit more, I don't think mature is the word, but maybe like a little bit more mature in the shade. Okay. Let's see how we look. All right, and that's it. Here is the look. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. I will list my social medias up here on the screen so you can follow me for future Instagram helps me shop my stash videos. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.